Hi everyone. Myself Kishan Adapo, MTech student, Mahindra University. Today the, I'm going to present on the course project on identifying damage in concrete tube specimen using piezo sensor. My course instructor is Dr. Vishalakshi Telagokla, Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Mahindra University. Abstract of this uh, the presentation, the need for quick assessment of the state of health of civil structures has necessitated research for development of real-time diagnosis and monitor the damages in structures. This project is purely to identify the intensity of the damage and its severity in concrete structures using EMI technique. If instrument damage is diagnosed in the early stage, it can be prevented before occurring any severe damage or affect the overall functionality of the structure. Structural health monitoring and monitoring is st structural health diagnosing and monitoring is important for cost efficiency, enhancing lifespan of the structures and public safety. SHM also help in forecasting remaining lifespan of the structures. Introduction. The electromechanical interaction of piezo impedance transducer and the whole structure is key to damage detection in the EMI technique. On the application of an alternating voltage across a bonded PJT patch, deformations are produced in the patch as well as in the local area of the whole structure surrounding. The response of this area to the imposed mechanical vibration is transferred back to the PJT patch in the form of electrical response as conductance and susceptance signatures. As a result of this interaction, the structural characters are reflected in the signatures. EMI is a non-parametric signature based approach using PZT sensor. Advantage is that simple algebraic equation is sufficient for this procedure. This is a qualitative approach. Damage can be seen with the help of the variations in signatures. A static force is applied to the specimen and tested the damage at 200 kN, 400 kN, 600 kN, 800 kN and 1000 kN applied load. The below equation couples the mechanical impedance of the structural system to the electromechanical admittance of the PJT structure system, which, which shows in this one impedance, Z is the impedance. This is my concrete tube specimen, uh, cured for 28 days, M40 concrete I used for the uh, uh, experiment. This, uh, this already is, uh, I have tested for the strength, it's uh, one more, uh, three cubes have taken, one test, one I have tested, it was showing the uh, 1340 kilonewtons and 59 MPa strength. So then I have taken this cube and the, uh, in, uh, to this one I have bonded the uh, surface bonded the PZT sensor. This is the PZT sensor. Surface bonded first with the epoxy. This you can see here. Then I, I have... Should be this one. The shouldering. For the shouldering. The shouldering, the wire is taken. Soldered the two wires plus and minus like this. This is my test specimen. I am going to test in the LCR meter or the data for in the data acquisition center. Already surface bonded uh, PJT is uh, fixed to the uh, concrete cube. These wires are soldered. Now I am connecting to the LCR meter through the wires. This is one uh, positive and other one is negative. This will be tested in the LCR meter. This is my sister. And kept for 20 hour, 24 hours dry. Upon a sufficient drying of epoxy bonding agent, two wires are soldered plus and minus to the PJT cells I shown in figure. 
the specimen was tested by actuating PJ sen sensor connecting to the LCR meter without applying any load. This will be taken as a baseline signature for comparing signatures after applying load. For applying load on cube system. This is a cube already tested uh, at the uh, baseline. After baseline, uh, now I am going to test for the 200 kilo newton uh, load. The under this, uh, this is a compressible strength testing machine. But the, in the compression testing machine only, uh, the, I am measuring the 200 kilo newton for loading. This is the applicator. Here I kept. See, the, the, here we are setting the 200 kilo newton. When CTM machine as applied can be controlled. <clears throat> then the same cube was subjected to 200 kilo newton load in CTM machine and tested by actuating piezo sensor and obtained the signature in the LCR meter to check any damage in the specimen. Repeated the same procedure applying loads of 400 kilo newton, 600 kilo newton, 800 kilo newton and 1000 kilo newton. Equipment and material used for this uh, the project PJT sensor system for uh, data acquisition, LCR meter, connecting wires, concrete cube specimen, CTM machine, soldering equipment, epoxy bonding agent are all right. The technology what we have used in this uh, EMI technique is impedance technique using piezoelectric piezoelectric transducers have been developed to detect local damage in complex structures by Liang et al. in 1994. Since the electrical impedance of the PJT is coupled with the mechanical impedance of the host, host structure, potential damage can be manifested by monitoring the change of the measured impedance signal. The electromechanical impu mechanical impedance can be written as follows. Z is equal to, Z total is equal to the equation which shows. Impedance Techniques using piezoelectric transducers have been developed to detect local damage in complex structures. These are, here the specimen picture taken after loading 1000 kilo newtons and there, there are no dam, damages or any cracks are not seen on the surface of the specimen. We can see after loading 800 kilo newtons also there is no damage seen. We can see 600 kilo newtons also there is no damage. So 400 kilo newtons also there uh, there is no damage. Obviously, 200 kilonewtons, it will not be there any damage. These are the pictures which are showing the no damage on the structure. But inside the structure, inside the concrete cube, there is a damage. The obtained signature for 200 kilonewton and 400 kilonewton, which showing the curves here, first for the 200 kilonewton, which is showing a very difference. First, the, the baseline and the red color, which is showing the 200 kilonewton uh, signature, there is a wide difference. That indicates that there is a damage. Even 400 kilonewton also similar damage is showing. 800 kilo, 600 kilonewtons also similar damage showing, and 800 kilonewtons also similar damage it is showing. This is the frequency of versus conductance curve, which is showing the baseline versus the uh, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000 kilonewton signatures. It is almost 200, 400, 600, 800 kilonewton signatures are showing nearly close. Because the damage hap happened at the 200 kilo newton. After 200 kilo newton, there is not much damage happened, but because this uh, the loading capacity is 1320 kilo newtons, this is the signature of susceptance. And the one uh, the variation we have taken to the uh, 200 kilo the 200 kilo to 300 kilo newton, which is showing the peaks of the conductance between baseline and 1000 kilo newton loading and uh, the way the, the these all the measured in the computational method of root mean square deviation rmsd the rmsd statistical indicator showing the variation of damage structure comparing with the healthy structure you can see the difference the baseline is showing the point 0 0.001 and there is no damage almost but whereas from 200 kilo newton to the 1000 kilo newton you can see the variation the damage First is uh, 200 kilonewton is showing 30, then 400 is showing 32, 600 is showing 34, 800 is showing 36, and the 1000 kilonewton is showing the th uh, 38. This is the variation in the damage. Conclusion The obtained signature has shown 
damage in the specimen, but pictures taken on the specimen does not show any damage on the surface. Hence, it is evident that piezosensor transducer shall discern the damage inside the concrete. So, visible damages we can see, but we cannot see inside damage. And this is the main, this is the aim of the experiment, and uh, that we could see the uh, results where it is showing the uh, inside damage. Objective of detecting damage in the concrete element is achieved with this equipment experiment and project. It may be good to, to identify damage or degraded structure which used immediate, which need immediate attention, especially age-old structures and take immediate timely remedial action. Thank you very much.